This week's Wolf and Chips comes from Switzerland at the Starag Boomatech factory. Now, Lee, tell me a little bit about this factory and what we're going to see here. Well, this is our newest factory. It's a carbon neutral factory, and it's where we where we manufacture the ultra precision machines from SIP and our Boomatech range. And also, there's a brand new launch. Welcome to this week's Swolf and Chips. Lee, we've taken a fantastic journey around Europe at the Starag factories. We're here in Vaudennes, where you actually produce uh, a number of different machines. Uh, but last time we were doing the Swarf and Chips, we was at the Drupal Rhine factory in Bielefeld, and we were standing on a 10-metre table. But some of these components are a little bit different to that, aren't they? Well, this, this is the opposite end of the spectrum, Mark. So we, we start with components so small you need an eyeglass to see them and we go up to parts uh, you know, as big as your fist, that sort of size. Now, um, walking around the, uh, the manufacturing plant today, uh, the S191 machine, now you've sold over 700 machines worldwide. I mean, that's pretty incredible. But the accuracy of these machines is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Well, what, what, what we're looking for, Mark, is specific types of components. So a component that's very accurate, that's got 50% or more milling drilling content, but you know, a full turn mill drill ground capability on the machines and from, any, from any, any material type as well. Now that's quite interesting because when you look at some of these components in these cabinets, uh, you, you do sort of get into some quite good areas. But where does the Boomatech machines actually fit into industry, Lee? Well, we, we look at specific markets. So Medtech is a, is a big market for luxury goods with, with watches, you know, ultra precision parts. Um, micro mechanics is an interesting market for us. And, and aerospace, avionics as well, and you can see all of those kind of components in these uh, in these display cabinets. Now, I visited a couple of customers recently that have got an S191, and they say the accuracy of the machine is actually fantastic. But you guys here have actually made the machine even better. You've got a new generation, the 191 Neo. Lee, your R&D guys here must be scratching their heads to actually make the S191 you know, a better generation. But this Neo does have some fantastic advantages. What are they? Well, firstly, there's a few new configurations compared to the, old, uh, the older version. It's faster, so it's, so it's more productive um, than the older version. And it's got a lot more connectivity. There's, there's, there's a, new, uh, a new NC control, and, and there's a lot of Industry 4 features on this machine that. Uh, that have been developed. And when you look at the uh, the, the build of the machine, um, is, there, is there a process to actually make these machines a lot quicker? Because you know the demand for this type of machine is just increasing, isn't it? Well, that's one of the other advantages, Mark. The, the, there's, there's a new lean manufacturing flow for these machines, and we're aiming to, to significantly improve the delivery times as well. And one thing you've said to me before is that, is that when you look at the UK and Irish market, you see a, a lot of opportunity for the, for the medical device uh, markets, don't you? Well, we're, we're hoping so. There's a lot of companies out there making small, complex parts, and they've probably never seen a machine like this. So we'll take users that, that, that are operating with multiple machines to produce a part, and we'll show them how to make that part automated in one shot, quicker, cheaper and, and, and faster. And the delivery is obviously a lot faster as well. The delivery is a lot faster as well. Lee, we're on the shop floor here at the Boomatech factory. Um, obviously walking down the flow line that you've actually got here, I've stumbled across the S181. Now, looking at some of the information there, this is up to nine axis. But why would you build such a machine when you've got the S191? Well, you, you can see, Mark, the head configuration is very similar. But what we've got is we've got two workstations 
that basically produce a part where you do OP1 and OP2 together at the same time simultaneously. So this is all about reducing cycle times. So, and when you look at the industry sectors that it fits into, is it very much that sort of the medical components, luxury goods and also watch manufacturing? It's the same sectors, it's the same kind of parts, but it, it is specifically around productivity, like I said. Lee, talking to the guys on the shop floor, you're not only manufacturing incredibly precise and efficient machines, but the speed is very important. Now, this is something else, the S100 Multi. How quick is this machine and where does it fit into the industry? Well, this is the fastest machine I've ever seen, Mark, and it's a twin spindle, four workstation machine. It's like a transfer machine, 60,000 revs, 3G acceleration. So it's all about speed and performance. And one thing the R&D guys uh, tell me here is that they, they're great listeners to their customers and this type of machine has been developed you know, with certain customers in mind. Is it, is it the watch industry that used this? Well, it was originally the watch industry, so for, for, for what they call watch plates. So small plates, micro machining, very, very tight tolerances on, on the whole position. And we've taken cycle times down from, say, half an hour to, to kind of three minutes. It's that level of performance gain. And to feed this, I suppose this is the reason why you've got automation on this, is because, you know, you've got to feed this to get the maximum performance out of it, yeah? Well, I, th I think I speak for the whole group when I say that automation's a, a really fast-growing part of what we do. So it's not just about delivering machines, it's about delivering the whole process. But I suppose this machine is not necessarily just about one sector. You could, you could sort of put this into other industries, couldn't you? Well, it is. It was developed for watchmaking, but it could be sold in other sectors. We've just got to look, look at finding the right components and the right volumes, and then you can really see a significant gain. Now, what an amazing machine. This is the largest machine that you actually manufacture here at Boomer Tech. It's the S1000C. <laughs> what can you say about this? But tell our viewers what we're looking at, Lee, and where it fits into the markets. You're right, this is an extraordinary machine. What we have here is eight turrets, eight workstations, each four axis, each with two spindles. So the component follows a journey from station one to station eight, finally to the, uh, to the extraction system. Typical parts would be small milled parts, say for the watch industry, bracelet links, and we make them in a matter of seconds. Now this machine, as I say, it, it looks complicated, but I understand talking to some of the guys here that the, 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 the way to use it is quite simple. It's, it's very simple, and it's for volume parts. So once it's set, uh, the slowest of the turrets is basically the cycle time of the job so you, you you plan the job you plan the sequences so you've got equal cycle time on each station and they're all working simultaneously it's pretty amazing to watch 48 axes well it's been an amazing facility here at Vaudoin's the Boomatech factory now I've had the privilege to join you at all your facilities now, making some very large machines down to some of the smaller machines here. But for those engineers that may look at some of your technology, what would be your message to them? Well, I'd say, Mark, there's a lot of engineers out there that don't really know much about us. They don't know what we do. So I would say, come to us with your problems and your challenges and, and let's have a discussion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the fantastic factory tour that we've given you in this week's Swarp and Chips, but also the rest of the factories at the Starag Group are on mtdcnc.com.